Brazilians are extremely bold. They're often like Europeans in that respect, where they just say what they think, and there is often little to no filter. So what they're saying is their honest opinion. And this makes them extremely hospitable, one. Um, and it also makes them extremely blunt sometimes. So they are extremely loving people, open-hearted and caring. They will just take you in, make you one of their own. They will offer you as much as they have as, as soon as you walk in. Um, they will often have fruit trees growing outside in their houses and they'll say, well, take some, just take as many as you need, as you want, just go ahead. Go ahead. And so they're very open. Uh, and it's carried into lots of their physical gestures as well. I mean, we'll go up to people and we'll shake their hands, maybe give a hug or something. But in Brazil, you always, you always hug everyone. Um, obviously, as missionaries, we only shook hands with uh, girls and women. But uh, the guys, we would always hug. And any time a girl is involved, you always kiss each other on the cheek as well. You'll touch cheeks and just kiss the air. Uh, after you've hugged or during the hug and it's it's something a little different Brazilians are much more touchy-feely than Americans and I it's something that I had to adjust to a ton uh, I often was very no oh, no need to touch me you know uh, one of the jokes I found was uh, you know for example in America you know it's a foreign family in a movie theater because they'll sit right next to you Americans will always leave at least one seat gap in a movie theater or any place like that, for example. However, uh, Brazilians, they're all family. They'll come up, they'll, as they're talking, they'll tap you on the shoulder, on the elbow, they'll grab your arm, they'll uh, kick you with their feet or whatever and just do these little taps and stuff. They're signs of affection and just very much culture as well. Um, it was something that I took a lot of getting used to, but eventually I just kind of assimilated it and I... I got very much used to it and I loved being able to go up to someone and give them a hug and just hold their arm and talk to them, look them in the eyes, tap them every once in a while just because it was, it was normal. Um, they can also be very opinionated and very blunt. So if you come up and they are from a different church and they don't want anything to do with you, they will tell you and they will yell at you and tell you to get out of their house. Um, They'll often, sometimes they'll even try to be polite, and if you ask for a drink of water, they'll go get you it. Um, but then they, sometimes they want you gone, and they'll make it very apparent. Uh, there was one time I was on a, an exchange with one of our assistants to the president, and we went up to this house, and he said, I've got this. And so he asked for a drink of water. Uh, the lady came out with water, and we started to sip, and we just started to chat with her. It was a very calming conversation starter. We didn't carry water with us a lot of the time because we would just go from house to house and we'd say, hey, can we get some water? And everyone would always come out with water. And this one lady in particular brought us up the water and as we started to chat with her, she snapped on us. And she just started yelling, um, what are you doing? You came out here asking for water and now you're trying to talk with me. I don't have time for this. I need to go do things inside. Give me your cups and head off. And so we'd often find ourselves in these kind of, not necessarily awkward situations, but just kind of rough spots where we're like, oh, okay, well, I guess you don't want to talk to us. And we go off. But uh, yeah, so they're very, very open people.